Coming up next on Sledhead 24-7. Check out the latest news from Skidoo as the crew checks in to Club Skidoo. A sneak peek at what's new with a -a one-of-a-kind sled reveal. Snowmobiles at a beachy Mexican resort? Quite the attention getter. How does pro snowcross racer Kyle Pauline relax on a rare day off during the season? Tag along as we celebrate KP Day, Kyle Pauline Day, presented by Rocks. It's a sled that rides like it's king of the world. A no-holds-barred test ride on the Polaris XCR. And Big Fish squeezed his way into the Sledhead 24-7 video vault and retrieves a story he'll never forget. Grab your helmet and let's ride. Sledhead 24-7 starts right here, right now. Hey, Jeff Fisher here with Sledhead 24-7. We're on the showroom floor at Club Skidoo 2021 in beautiful Cancun, Mexico. The weather's warm. We're checking out the sleds in 80 degree weather. I'm excited to be here. I'm more excited to get back to the snow and ride these. Let's go check out what's new with Skidoo. We're in Cancun, Mexico, all places to look at snowmobiles. We're going right now to the global reveal for the 2021 Ski Dudes. I'm pretty pumped to see what they have to offer. Ski Dudes Renegade XRS, but you can't believe the changes they made from the skis to the new front end to the new rear end, the new R Motion X. All kinds of changes and it works. We've got a new Raz X front suspension. We're a little bit wider, so we're at 43 inches center to center. We've got new skis up front that really sharpen up the handling on it. So we've got a Pilot TX on this one because it's the adjustable ski where you can adjust the carbide depth real easy with the turn of the crank here. There's also a new Pilot X ski. Both of these do a lot for the uh, increased bite in and out of the turns, make it more stable, more confident overall. And then we have also a little bit more travel for the comfort and cushion part of it. Now the Iron Motion suspension is completely new for 2021. We've changed every single part in it. There's nothing in common with the model year 20. It's a longer front arm and that's one of the real big keys to the handling of the snowmobile. That longer arm is also flatter because we've lift up the rear mounting point about 10 millimeters. So that flat front arm helps provide a lot of stability into and out of the corners especially. When you get on the gas, it doesn't transfer weight back as far on the front of the snowmobile. So it leaves that ski planted and you can still turn as you exit the corner. The trail handling is spectacular. Very confidence inspiring. In and out of the turns through the nasty bumps, it really does handle them well. But one more feature. We've got a really cool digital display here. Seven point inch large panoramic. It's a screen that you can see very, very easily. And if you open up the front here, you can put your phone in it, connect your phone to it, and display the new BRP Go app that's gonna give you turn-by-turn navigation. It's gonna have a Find My Friends feature. It just really makes the the whole ride more enjoyable because it's bringing you state-of-the-art navigation capabilities on a snowmobile. As primarily a flatlander, the main thing that I enjoy about the new Skidoos is something that I think a lot of people might overlook, and that's the changes in the ride quality and handling of the new MXZs and Renegades. You know, the, the changes they made to the R-Motion rear suspension and the front suspension and the skis make a big difference. We got a chance to ride them recently and it really sticks to the ground a lot better. It, it, there's no need to saw out the handlebars anymore. It, it holds its line well in turns, entering turns, exiting turns, and also it took care of some of the bump steer. So when you're going chopping through the, the stutter bumps, it's a big change. Guys, so excited about this sled. I want to go over a couple things with you guys. So this year we're going to take out the 37, uh, still keep the 46. It's actually going to come narrower this year. And the 46 is not going to have the turbo, 
but the 54 is, and I am very excited about that. <clears throat> so the 54 is gonna come with the turbo. Um, you can get it to two and a half or a three inch. And this is the 65 turbo. Um, it's gonna have this new lightweight hood, and this lightweight hood you can actually get with or without the turbo. It's gonna save you six pounds from the original hood. It's gonna have the KYAB shocks right here. Narrower handlebars, just like the Expert had last year, and I love this feature just because I have smaller hands. It's gonna have the shorter tunnel, uh, as well as the rail braces. So, uh, guys, you cannot go wrong with this new Freeride Turbo. Uh, so pumped, so enjoy. The new Summit X850 with the turbo. Now this is a very much so a game changer. So what Skidoo has put so much more technology. This turbo, everything, there's no glitches. It's so smooth and linear pulling. And they've added so many cool features from the lightweight hood to now a belt heat system sensor, which is really cool about it. What it does, it measures the air temp around the belt in the belt compartment and monitors that. And you'll get a warning light if it gets too hot. And what's really cool is they also have a belt load sensor. And what that does is if you're really on the thing hard and pulling hard and getting that belt tension, there's all kinds of uh, variables into it from the power valve to the ray valve set where that position is, to your throttle position, to RPM. There's so many factors that read into that. And they'll give you a warning also to let you know if you're just abusing your sled or your belt just way too much. This sled comes in a 154, 165, or a 175, and you can get a turbo on either one of those or a non-turbo. So everybody's pretty pumped about this thing, and really, this is the magic in here. Everybody gets excited about this little guy right here. The turbo, the turb ski. It's safe to say it's probably been seven years at least in the making. You know, when they built the architecture or designed the, the 850, it was intended from boost from day one. And what makes this thing so drivable and has such good throttle response? Computer is constantly calibrating pipe pressure, intake pressure, so you always have the best throttle response. And just so it runs seamless, and that's why this thing is so smooth. And when you ride it, it's really hard to tell, other than the sound, but it also makes it very fun to drive because the throttle response is instant. They nailed it. They couldn't have nailed it any better. You know, from the new sleds, all kinds of accessories and new clothing, Skidoo's got you covered. Get to your local dealer and check it out. And keep watching because in the next shows, I'm going to be able to ride, rate, and review the new 2021s. His name is Kyle Pauline, and when you get a day named after you, well, you must be pretty darn cool. When Sledhead 24-7 roars back, it's KP Day presented by Rocks. And our test riders are ready. And so is the Polaris XCR. We're ready to ride, rate, and review. Please stay tuned. But first, time for our Amsoil Tech Tip. Hey, Led Groom here. We're at the Mechanical Lab at Amsoil, and we're talking about power valves today. There are many different designs available from the different manufacturers, but the main point is they have to be kept clean so that they can stay working to provide top performance. Now, some carbon, is going to be normal since the power valve works in the exhaust stream of the engine. And today I'm here to show you some of the different designs that are offered and how we've actually tested them and been able to show you how, they're, how they can be kept clean. So we've got an example here, lots of different moving parts. This valve is very active, very important that it stay clean. We've got an example here of what it looks like after we tested it. We've got also two other examples that are, have some less working parts but still need to be kept clean and some examples of how they look after we tested them with Interceptor. So now you can clearly see how important it is to keep the power valves clean and trouble free. That way you're not gonna have any issues on the side of the trail. It also shows how Amsoil can help provide for that. So for more information on any of our two-stroke products, check out amsoil.com. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, runs on freedom by Polaris, by FXR, maximum versatility for all conditions and powered by Ram trucks, built to serve. Hey, before we came down here to beautiful Cancun, we had a chance to go hang out with Kyle Pauline. Now this is turning into an annual event, it's KP Days, and Rock Speed FX, they went and provided the course for a bunch of Kyle and his buddies. Check out what kind of trouble they caused. Kyle Pauline, we're here 
at KP Crazy Days, sponsored by Rock Speed Effects. We had some serious fun. Today, we're out here at KP Crazy Days, sponsored by Rock Speed FX, and we're just hitting huge booters, dude. The group of guys we have out here is awesome. They all like to go big, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's something we don't get to do very often, just come out here and play and, and just have fun throwing whips and, and throwing tricks. I think there was, I was more scared this year though. Like last year, I think was, it was gnarly, but this year was even gnarlier. Like I was, had more, a little bit more fear mixed in with the excitement this this year. But uh, man, so much fun. We had uh, we had some great guys come out and uh, just get together and have a good time. And that's what that's what today is all about. Is just going big because we love it and uh, having fun on our snowmobiles. Chats off to ERX for letting us pull something crazy like this off at their at their facility here and uh, and uh, just you know KP crazy days uh, you know couldn't uh, do it without uh, Rock Speed Effects they uh, they stepped up big this year and made it happen for us and uh, just can't thank them enough this was uh, this was amazing. When we return, Jeff Fisher pulls out an oldie but a goodie with his trip to the video vault for a story that stands the test of time. But what about Big Fish? Will he even be able to stand after his adventure in Jackson Hole? You know, sitting on this skidoo free ride makes me think I want to go out and ride and jump uh, and do some climbing. Kind of like Jackson Hole, you know, let's go back to the vault and check out what kind of fun we've had at Jackson Hole Hill Climb. We're out here in beautiful Jackson Hole, Wyoming at the World Championship Hill Climbs. We here at Sledhead 24-7, we go to water cross, snow cross, backcountry ride, trail ride, you name it. We got to come to the World Championship Hill Climbs and show you what it's all about. The atmosphere, I'd say this is like the Sturgis of snowmobiling. This is the place to be. <laughs> I'm calling like a bag of puppy ears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Jackson Hole! Jackson 
you're lucky, someone will let you sit down next to them and enjoy. We brought this event back to more of a family oriented sport. The younger kids are coming up, the older guys are stepping it up. The competition here is unbelievable. But most of all, it's, it's really about the event and what we're doing for, for the community and charity. We're a nonprofit organization. We raise thousands and thousands of dollars and then turn around and donate it. it it's, it's a fantastic thing. When I first used to come here, back in the days, they'd never make it up there. Now they're, they fly right over the top. It's unreal. If you don't like the hill, wait a minute, because it's going to change right in front of your face. Pretty soon a couple floods will go through and then 10 will get stuck. It's super, super challenging. Jackson Hole likes to keep it rough and put on a show. I would say the, the funnest part about it is how trenched out the courses get and how gnarly they get. Uh, you always got to be watching, you know, even where the fast guys are going, where, where the guys are getting stuck, you know, you got you to gotta drive around that. It can change within two guys, so it, it's, it's crazy. You know, what's really fun about being here on the hill at Jackson Hole is not only hanging out with the hill help, those guys are a great bunch of guys saving all these sleds, but being up here with fellow media members, camera crew, kind of one big happy family sitting up here on the hill. I think when you come here, you're going to be hooked. There's people that will come here and this is their family vacation. You know, they bring the family. You're going to leave here with a smile on your face and you're going to want to come back next year. Ride, rate, and review. It's on the coat of arms of all Sledhead 24-7 test riders. And when we return, the best riders in the biz take a crack at the Polaris XCR. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil. Runs on freedom. Track, trail, or tree line. Ride with rocks. By Stud Boy. Traction with an attitude. Ziggler Cat. Exceptional service backing the best equipment. And by the U.S. Air Force. Aim high. You know, sitting here on the beach in Cancun, enjoying the warm weather, taking a look at the, you know, the beach, the ocean. It's just fantastic sitting here. But you know what? I'm a sled head true and true. And all I can do is I keep thinking about snowmobiling. And one that comes to mind was a real fun project we did, XCR Old to New. We got to run with some of the engineers that developed that motor and raced that motor back in the 90s. It's a fun piece, check it out. You know, 1997 was a uh, really cool year with racing. Uh, they were kind of transferring from the cross country to the snow cross. Polaris was hitting it hard and that red rocket was a proven machine. 2020 to 1997. So what is that? Taylor Swift would say, I'm feeling 22, 22 years difference. So after riding all day on a new sled, especially these new XCRs with the Velocity Series shocks, it's no big deal to bust out a quick 200 miles. I'd probably put about 50 on this Red Rocket 97 now, and I don't know. I, I don't think I can do it. I mean, I don't know how these guys did it. I mean, I was even thinking to myself, I should be wearing a kidney belt right now because it's just pounds through the bumps. But, you know, you got to have a smile on your face because obviously it's still a good time because you're on a snowmobile. So the biggest difference with these newer sleds Rider forward. I mean, you're definitely up on the bars. This older style, I mean, you got your feet in front of you, you're sitting way back on your seat, your arms are fully stretched out. It's a totally different style of riding. You ride the sled, you lean over in the corners more, you slide back and forth from side to side. But these new sleds, the ergonomics just hands down make your ride that much better. Everything from snow cross to cross country to uh, the I-500, and they were they were pretty awesome, super fast. Um, when you look at XCR today, and we look at XCR back then, it's kind of come back to its roots, where our XCR is now our cross country racer. Um, we have a sled specifically for snow cross, and the cross country and the, and the ice racing is is kind of taking off again. So it's fun, really fun to see that transition and grow over the years. 
it's, it's fun to see uh, some of the younger riders, my son and a lot of his buddies are looking at the old XCRs and they're just thinking they're the greatest. I cut my teeth on them. I knew what it was like to ride back then. These guys haven't and they're having a blast on them though. Well, that's all the time we have. I'm enjoying this uh, warm sun, but I do miss the snow. So I want to get back, get riding those snowmobiles. See you on the trails. That's about all we can squeeze into today, but we're always live on sledhead24-7.com. Please hit us up on social media and pitch a story idea or place to ride. Log on to sledhead24-7.com Watch our library of episodes. Big Fish, Miss Haley, Cub, and the Red Ram are getting ready for another adventure and a new episode. So please join us.